Hello YouTube, Brown Nose Tech Tips. I'm going to show you how to perform a clean install of Windows Server 2016. And this is on the technical preview 4. This is the full server install. Remember there's four versions of this. You have Nano, Tiny Release. I mean like the, the full install I believe is around 500 megabytes. And it is a full blown server install. It's all com configured by command line. There's no GUI. You have uh, Server 2016 Hyper-V, which is nothing but a small install similar to Nano, but designed entirely for a virtual environment using Hyper-V. You have Server 2016 Essentials, which is a smaller cut-down version similar to Standard in 2008 and 2012. And then you have uh, Server 2016, which is the full install. So once you finally get to the setup screen, make sure you select your language, time, and keyboard layout, and then click Next. Click Install Now. Remember, in the actual full release, there's going to be a point where it comes up asking you for your product key. You'll have to put that in and then hit Next. And you can see there's two versions here. You have the Server 2016. Technical Preview 4 does not include the GUI or you can select the version that includes the GUI. So this is a core install and this is the full install. We're going to do the full install so you just select that, click next, click I accept the license terms, click next now we're going to do custom install. Then you're going to select your drive, click new, click apply, click OK. If the drive already has a partition, you'll have to delete them like I did, and then it'll pop up telling you that it's going to have to create a secondary partition just click OK when it comes up to that make sure partition 2 is selected which is your primary click format to make sure it's formatted and prepared for the new file system and as soon as it's done with that make sure that partition 2 your primary partition is still selected and click next it's now going to copy over the files and then it'll start uh, expanding them and that'll be the install once it expands the files onto the drive this process will take a while, so I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, we're up in the 90% range. Getting closer. Should be done here pretty quick. Again, you have to keep in mind that this is going to reboot several times before it's finally complete. When it does reboot with the CD in the drive, do not hit any button whenever it comes up telling you to press any button from the CD or DVD to boot from the CD or DVD. You do not want to do that. That will cause you to get to the point where you will be restarting the re install. Instead, ignore the message. Just let it boot from the hard drive. It will automatically continue the install on its own. Shouldn't really be a whole lot of updates for this, so that part should go by pretty fast. Now we're ready for the reboot. And there's the message. Press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Just let it boot from the hard drive. Another reboot. Again, let it boot from the hard drive. Alright, when it first comes up, it's going, going to want you to set up the uh, username for the administrator account, for the or the password for the administrator account. Remember, you are going to have to make it a complex password, so it is going to require numbers and special characters. Alright, now that it has loaded, you press hit Control alt delete to unlock it, and this, since it's a virtual machine, I'm going to have to go to Input, Keyboard, and Insert, Control alt delete Put in the password you set. Now it'll have to load all the profiles and services and everything. Once it completes setting up the profile, you'll be logged in. Once you're logged in, you can go configure your server roles and features, as well as run DC Promo if you wish to make the server install a domain controller. 
And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Server 2016. This information's out there for absolutely everybody. As always, watch, like, and share. Have a great day.